Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'll show you step by step how you can easily use Monday.com for software development or for tech teams. I'm going to show you the templates that you can use and also how you can operate and manage in your dashboards and what you can do also plus with that so your whole pro process is going to be effective. So the first thing you want to do under the workspace when you're going to be in Monday.com you want to click add. Now here you want to simply click choose from template and now you're going to find software development. Here you have option to choose multiple these templates. So let's say you can use Jira or you can go with product development or Box or Kanban software development or even the Sprint Retrospective or IT Service Dex product roadmap so we can like really choose so let's say I'm going to choose for product development and then I will also choose the Kanban software development and I'm going to manage between these two if you want me to uh, like combine me with Jira just write it down below in the comments and I'll be really happy to do that too so let's just start here and let's click product development here I'm going to click here use template and let's just wait until it's going to get created Okay. So now what we can actually find here. The first things what you need to notice, what you're going to notice is uh, like you have option to find the sprints here, the roadmap, the box query, retrospective. And these four uh, are those we are going to actually manage, right? So first thing first in our main table, when you would click here on sprints, you can find the sprint one, sprint two, backlog, right? We can simply add a task, back and okay, like this. I can easily add a conversation here. I can add owner, uh, let's say it's going to be me. I can have like, if it's ready to start, if it's going to be next sprint or in progress or waiting for review, of course, guys, you can always edit the labels here so you can add or change the colors and really optimize it and manage it as much as you want. Then you have also option to change the priority of your sprint, uh, like let's say task. And again, critical, high, medium, low, best effort type. And now here you can choose if it's going to be quality, feature, bug, craftsmanship, improvement, test, security. And again, I can easily add Let's say it's going to be pack and role if it's a design product developer. Here you got also the estimate, story points, actual GitHub link if you have one. Then we can move further even. And what we can find here, we can also find uh, like the dependent on. And you can like actually add on to what it's going to get dependent. So then unplanned and then also you're going to have the, the epic here and description. So for the task, and this is what you have going to have in your sprint. Now we can also add the current sprint uh, when you see, and this is the sprint two. Then you're going to find the Kanban here in Kanban you would have on the right side, you can have the Kanban column status. You can always change the Kanban col column between priorities. So let's say you can have the priority and have it like here, status. My recommendation, you can like disable owner, you can disable type. Uh, let's say this is going to be estimate and you have always all these that are high, you can start working on them. You can always like optimize the card columns. What are you going to actually find in them, right? Then you're going to have the tasks assigned to you, sprint planning. Uh, this is the dashboard of like the, the analytics, the data of it. Then you're going to see also the current sprint progress and backlog. 
Now, the next thing are roadmap. So this is the quartals of one, two, and also the epics backlog uh, that you can like uh, add an epic. Then you can easily add a description, the timeline, the priorities, the roadmap, the sprints, task status. And you can really like add when you're going to add, you can change. These are all labels. You can have the timeline here and task status. And this is all the roadmap for quarter two, quarter three. It's like up to you. Then you're going to have the main table and you're going to have also the Gantt here. The Gantt is like the timeline of what is actually happening and how long it's going to actually take. Like what are the goals for quarter two? And we can have a new database schema deployment and customer success focus. We can have there like, let's say a new product. So when we have the roadmap here, I can go further to box Quewe, and now here I can have incoming box. I can make it longer and link to contact page doesn't work. A website not working homepage loading issue. And then I have like reporter who is going to report it. Then let's say this is going to be website going, going all like pictures, website not visible or not loading. I have a reporter, let's say it's going to be here, developer me, report date, let's say it's going to be for today, time until it's going to like count how long it did actually take and then it's going to get resolved and status awaiting review priority like the box square is really important you can have it in your like in your home in your notifications that you need to solve uh, then you're going to find the bug description here the source it's alpha beta in-house support resolution picture video of the bug and that's pretty much it now, when I go further, I see also the development work and all the resolved. So when I go here to bug inside, you can have like the analytics here of it and bug reporting. So this is a form that like internally you would have or someone like let's say customers that can fill it out. Now my recommendation, you can also have an add view and simply add a Kanban. And you can have it like here all clean what needs to be done and what is actually happening. So that's pretty much it, how it works. And you can have it also divided by groups, by incoming bugs, development work, resolved. So that's how it works and that's how it is. Then we see the retrospective here. The board is for Sprint Retros, Sport Sprint 2, Sprint 1. And then you see also again the label here and the vote that people can vote for this. Track the following Sprint Retrospective, have your team members vote to find the most relevant feedback. And then you get also the Learning Center. So this is pretty much it how it works and this is how we can operate with it. What you can do again is simply click Add here and choose from template and choose multiple for software development. So IT service desk, product roadmap. Really optimize it as much as you need, as much as you want. Now, I hope you, you kind of enjoyed it and you know better how to do it. Of course, if you're gonna use the Kanban software development, as I mentioned, Here you see that, okay, we have the backlog. These are like the ready for development. And uh, you can have the request backlog ready for development, committed plan, feature engagements, bugs, other. And this is pretty straightforward what you can actually find here. And this is the Kanban dashboard. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you're going to have a great day. And this is pretty much it, how we can use the monday.com for software development. This was just the introduction to it. If you want, I can create a deeper tutorial. This is how we can use the templates and what you can actually find and do with monday.com. Thank you, have a great day and goodbye. See ya.